I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News, a new feature for showcasing our team members' accomplishments and our values of compassion, innovation, respect, and results. Today, we start with a major accomplishment for Henry Ford Allegiance Hospital. The nursing team at Allegiance has earned magnet recognition, the highest honor in nursing. Leaders took the call with the big news inside and broadcast it via speakerphone to the socially distant team who celebrated outside. Only 8% of hospitals in the United States achieve magnet status, which is a reflection of nursing professionalism, teamwork, and superiority in patient care. As a health system, Henry Ford is working towards achieving magnet recognition at all five acute care hospitals in the next five years. You'll remember the nursing team at Henry Ford Hospital got word they'd achieved magnet status in March. At Henry Ford Macomb Hospital, two nurses are bringing a creative touch to labor and delivery. I just love baby feet. <laughs> Nicole Smith combines the job she loves. Some have more uh, creases than others and some are flat footed. With her love of crafting, alongside fellow labor and delivery nurse Linda DeLang. Both create special keepsakes for families, featuring the feet of the babies they help deliver. Just in conversation, you get their interests and hobbies. Once the baby is born, Linda and Nicole get creative, painting the little one's feet and using footprints as stepping off points for personalized mementos of their time at Henry Ford. Some favorites. A Coast Guard helicopter that was for a rescue diver that worked at a Selfridge and got to know that family really well. I did some fish footprints that kind of took me a little bit of time. It was kind of unique and fun. The paintings surprise and delight grateful parents. Oh my gosh. We did a horse. So awesome. <laughs> but both nurses say it's their oh special God. way of saying thank you. It's kind of a nice little personal piece that I can give to the patient to say congratulations. It's just one of the most unique things that you can experience in life, and I, it's a pleasure to be a part of it. Life is so sweet for one Henry Ford patient, she wanted to share it with her care team. So she put them to work scooping ice cream. I think it's a lot like being in the operating room, and you know, you have to do it very carefully. That's Henry Ford neurosurgeon Dr. Adam Robin digging into some mint chocolate chip at Ziggy's Ice Cream in Grand Plank. It belongs to Kate White and her husband, Rick. Kate is back to working full time and feeling like herself again after ending up at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit with glioblastoma, the most deadly form of brain cancer. Kate says she wanted to pay it forward, so she organized a fundraiser, selling ice cream to raise money for Henry Ford's Hermelin Brain Tumor Center and Game on Cancer. She invited the Henry Ford team to be celebrity scoopers. The team included Hermelin Brain Tumor Center program manager Lisa Scarpace and her son, Kate's oncologists Dr. James Snyder and Dr. Vrushali Devak and her kids, and Dr. Adam Robin. I think what it says is that I'm just one piece of a really great team, frankly, for the whole Brain Tumor Center and the Henry Ford Cancer Institute. And moreover, that between the patients and all of the people that make up that team, we have a great community when it comes to the, you know, the treatment of folks with brain tumors. Kate says she hopes to make the fundraiser an annual event, and she fully intends on putting our team to work again next year. Our featured photo this time around comes from the Movement Disorder Team, all masked up for the Dystonia Medical Research Association Virtual Zoo Walk. The team is led by Drs. Ellen Eyre, Nipa Patel, and Jason Schwab, and outreach specialist Julia Wall. We want to see what your team is up to. You can send story ideas or your fun photos our way. Email them to newstips at hfhs.org. And I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs>